I hear <laughs> down here, just like a scuffle. And I was like, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> it's Liam Mouse vlog, Liam Mouse vlog, it's Liam Mouse's vlog. Well, hello there. My goodness, it feels like forever since I've seen you. Look at you. Oh, look at you. You look so wonderful. Look at you. You're looking great. I'm happy to see you. I'm not looking great. I say that every time and I don't care. But you know what? If I did my hair and makeup and actually made some kind of an effort, maybe I wouldn't feel the need to say that because I feel like going on here looking homeless every single time isn't the, the thing that anybody other than Trisha Paytas does. Oh wait, I can make it even more authentic. I can sit on my kitchen floor. Wait, all right, we're gonna sit on the kitchen floor and uh, I'll uh, find something to cry about. Yeah, no, <laughs> not so much. So right now my arm's getting tired, oh my God. Yeah, I'm using my phone because my vlogging camera is upstairs. I'm not, I would say I'm lazy, but I'm not. I'm just doing a whole bunch of stuff right now. I'll show you guys what I'm up to. Okay, check this out. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a little bit smaller than Trisha Paytas, but I'm a little bit older too, so just give, you know, give me a second here. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, my back. So what I'm doing here today, I got a lot of stuff going on. It is kind of nuts. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, it's my only day off this week. Oh, that, that's right. I got to update you guys on this. If you follow my Facebook, you know this already. But I should officially tell you that at my job that I have, I just got promoted to full-time. Um, I was basically working full-time at any rate, but now it's official. I got a little bit of a pay raise. I get full benefits now. I have a 401k. <laughs> I never thought that I would be a person to have the words, I have a 401k come out of my mouth. I think that's really weird because I still feel like a 13 year old in my head, but I have a 401k now. <laughs> so what this means is basically uh, I am required to work a certain set of hours per pay period and be working five days a week. I set aside one day for candles. That's today, Tuesday. Tuesday is candle day, which means I still get up at four in the morning with JJ and go right to work and go into candles. And in order to make the candles fully, you know, from beginning to end, print the labels, cut the wicks, place the wicks, do the melts, you know, all the stuff that goes into it, uh, make them, wait for the layers to cool, pour all the layers, package them, print out packing slips, you know, box them up, put the shipping labels on. I have to wait for them to cool enough to put the swirls on before I even do that. It literally takes an entire day. Sometimes I don't quite make it, but if I start early enough and really light a fire under my butt, I can. That means I can't nap, I can't do anything else, unless it's during while the candles are cooling, which is exactly what's happening right now. I've already finished up most of the candles for today. Uh, they're cooling and we got some wax melts over here that I uh, have, these are finished ones. These are ones I just poured, they gotta cool. And the kitchen is kind of chaotic right now because in between that, I'm also cleaning out this cupboard down here that had uh, baking stuff in it, okay? So like my kitchen isn't just a giant mess for no specific reason. I had to clean out that entire cupboard. I'm about to load the dishwasher with all of the stuff because if you follow my Instagram and my Facebook, you know this too. We had a mouse. We had a little tiny teeny little mouse for one day, for one whole day, this mouse was in our, and I'm not talking about me, a different mouse, little, like an actual mouse mouse, like an animal, little cute thing. So it didn't do any destruction or anything like that. And the only reason that we knew that we had it was because the kitty cats were down here and they were sitting in front of the sink down here, staring straight at it. My vast experience with mice, I lived in the country with my mom for a very long time. We got mice all the time in the house, you know, whatever, but also with cats, vast experience with cats. We always had cats. If a cat is in a kitchen or anywhere else really, but mostly kitchens, kitchens seem to be the thing and are sitting and pointed and staring under or at a kitchen appliance for a long length of time, it means there's a mouse. And I knew that right away. <laughs> I saw both of them just sitting pointed facing the thing. I'm like, babe, 
think we got a mouse. <laughs> he was the first to suspect it because he's smarter than me, so he's always like one step ahead of me, and that's okay. That's fine. He's allowed to be smarter than me. I don't care. So yeah, but uh, the thing, you know, I cleared out underneath the sink and uh, I found a couple of little mouse droppings. It wasn't like a great catastrophe or anything, but I cleaned it out just in case, you know, and found little shreds. The mouse had tried to get into Scrappy's biscuit, uh, biscuit treat bag thing and failed. Uh -huh. And uh, JJ told me that underneath this cupboard here where we keep all the baking stuff, apparently there was, was some more evidence of mouse. And I was like, all right, well, I'll clean it out today. I did all that before I even started on the candles. And I'm like, okay, I'll just clean this out real quick, get everything out, wipe it out. You know, there wasn't much to wipe out anyway, but I just, I wiped it out for good measure. Put all the baking stuff aside started on the candles and I've just kind of been loading and unloading the dishwasher in intervals all day just to make sure everything is clean you know you can't be too careful so the story with the mouse it's not here anymore <laughs> fun story actually so I'll try to keep it brief but it was funny <laughs> it was so funny I'm out of coffee which is unfortunate or I would be sipping it right now I, I got to experience my pumpkin spice today I was very excited about that it's definitely pumpkin spice season mm. Anyway, the mouse. So the day literally started with us waking up, the cat staring underneath and going, hmm, there must be a mouse. So uh, JJ left for work. I hung back for a few to clean out under the sink and everything to make sure that the mouse couldn't get in anything else. And I left one of the cupboard doors open in case the cats wanted to, you know, pursue it during the day. Came home. We had band practice that night. It was Friday. And then uh, we went out for a little bit and then came home. And uh, JJ and I have this, like, routine on Friday nights where we just hang out in the kitchen no, put the lights on, we plug in the Bluetooth speaker, blast music and dance around and talk and laugh and just have a good time. That's that's how we spend our Fridays because Saturday, well, Saturday's my only day off now officially, uh, but you know, he gets Saturday and Sundays off and I always have to work Sundays, which is crap. So the Friday night's really the only day that we can like kick back and have a good time. So yeah, that's what we were doing. We were down here blasting music. It was probably like 9.30 you know, it wasn't even that late. I'm standing over here. I'll show you. So I was standing, I was standing right here, like on this side of the island. You know, the kitchen, the kitchen island is behind me right here. JJ's on the other side of the island. We're dancing a footloose or whatever we were doing. And I, and I just saw a movement out of the corner of my eye and I looked over there by Scrappy's food dish there. I saw a little, little mouse right behind it. And I was just like, it's like, dude, there's the mouse. He's right there. So <laughs> JJ came over and like stood guard like right here and I bolted up the stairs to go get Houdini because both the cats were upstairs in, in their room. So I grabbed Houdini. Both of them were like, what the hell are you doing? Because I came and said, Houdini, Houdini, come on. <laughs> so I grabbed up Houdini. She was like, oh my God, what the hell are you doing? And I just like brought her down here. I set her down right here. She didn't even see the thing because it kind of scooted behind the door at this point. The door was like this. And she just didn't even see it. She's like, what's going on? Why did you bring me down here? Oh my God, my life. You know, we didn't know what the hell to do. We had to work quickly in this thing. So she's sitting down here on the step and I'm trying to get her to see the mouse that's like right here, right kind of behind the door. She didn't see it. And then all of a sudden it just took off and ran and ran right underneath the doors of the laundry room here. She didn't see it. So we were like... Well, now it's in there. What am I gonna do? So Houdini jumps up on the pool table, which is where she hangs out, but she's not here right now. And we told her, we were like, dude, you were supposed to get the mouse. Like, this is why we, this is why you exist. This is your sole purpose for being. You need to get the mouse. So what does she do? She flops down on the pool table. Well, I can't find it. It's not up here. It has disappeared, but she's got this little fake mouse toy, right? This little catnip filled toy. And after we're just like, get the mouse, you're supposed to get the mouse. Make sure you watch for the mouse. She starts whipping around her fake mouse. And we just started laughing. We were like, yeah, of course you go crazy on the fake mouse, but you completely ignore the live one that was staring at you two seconds ago, like on the other side of the door. Good job. Speaking of, oh, who's cute. The sweet little Houdini basking in the sun. Yes, we still have to tell the victorious part of your story, don't we? Because you have every right <laughs> to feel majestic right now because you did a really good job. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You did an amazing job. You sweet little bunum. <laughs> Mommy's proud of you. 
So the rest of the story goes as follows. So we resume our evening, you know, listening to music, talking, whatever. We're like, okay, the thing will run out whenever it's meant to run out again. Whatever. We'll just, whatever. We're standing over here talking, just same spots, right? And I think JJ came over to this side. He must have, because I think we were dancing over here or something. And he was right here and he just goes, there he is. And I was like, Ugh. He saw the mouse over here by the coffee area, just like in the corner right here. And he just kind of whipped around the corner real quick. I think he was trying to get back underneath, like under the sink or something. But obviously you can't because there's no gap there. So he was over there. Houdini's still on the pool table. Okay. So I was like, grab the cat. Okay. So he picked up Houdini and was just like holding her. And she was just like doing that awkward cat hang. Like, oh, what the hell are you doing? Why are you? Yeah, she's a little more. She's not as Jabba the Hutt as I was just portraying her, but but you know you know what I'm saying. So he so he picks up Houdini, he's holding her. The mouse bolts that way towards the door, and I was like, "Drop the cat! Let the cat go! Release the cat!" So JJ lets Houdini go. She finally sees the mouse, right? Because it's running, and now she's like, "Oh shit! I see it! I see it! I want it!" So she takes off after the mouse. They both run around this entire thing, and it shoots back underneath the freaking laundry room doors, but. The cat saw it this time. So she's parked in front of the laundry room doors, right? And she's not moving. She's seen that thing. She knows where it is. She's going to hunt it and stalk it and wait for it to come out. And I was like, it's under control at this point. She knows where it is. She saw it. She's got this. She's on it. Okay. So we don't have to worry about this. So about an hour later, we go upstairs to bed. You know, we're just upstairs getting ready for bed. We put on Downton Abbey. I'm feeding Watson. You know, she's up there and uh, JJ's hanging out with Scrappy or whatever. So I hear <laughs> down here, just like a scuffle. And I was like, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> so I hear this, this scuffle and then I hear I hear the squeaking and I was like, oh, I was like, I think she got it. I think she got it. And then I hear some more scuffling, some more squeaking and then silence. It literally went on for like 20 seconds or something. Like I was like, JJ, come here, come here, come here, come listen. I was standing at the top of the stairs listening because I didn't want to come down and interrupt it, you know, but by the time he got to the top of the stairs after me beckoning him like furtively, dead silence. And I was like, I wonder what that means. So I crept down the stairs to see what happened. I crept down the stairs to see what was the matter. <laughs> now, so I got down here and Houdini was sitting on that little rug. I'm so embarrassed by how messy the house is right now. It's not normally like this. You guys know this, but I'm in the process of doing things. So just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I get embarrassed by clutter, especially on video. But anyway, so Houdini's sitting on the rug, right? No mouse in sight. No apparent pursuit in place is going on. And she's sitting there. <laughs> This is the funniest thing. I'll never forget it. She's sitting there going like this. <laughs> She's like licking her chops and like gag swallowing over and over, like alternating between the two. And I was like, I think she ate it. <laughs> I think that thing went down a hole. She wouldn't be doing this. She, she looked like she was really struggling to keep it down. You know what I mean? It was so funny. And so I looked at her. I looked at her and I said, did you eat the mouse? She turns and looks me dead in the eye and just goes. <laughs> so yeah, she, she swallowed that thing. I was fully expecting some mouse bones to come up in some cat hork at some point. She kept it down. She kept all of it down. Tail, fur, bones, everything. She kept it down. Yes, you're a good kitty. You got that mouse. You did a good job. You did such a good job. You're such a little warrior. Yes, I know. You're like the sweetest kitty in the whole world. And then you're like this vicious little warrior who catches and kills and swallows a mouse whole within like 20 seconds. Like, you're impressive. You know that? You're very impressive. Mommy's proud of you. Yes. <laughs> So that is the reason that I'm cleaning out the cupboards in between the candles cooling. Just, just in case we don't want any mouse germs, you know, on our stuff, you know, cause whatever. And I already cleaned off the counters and everything. I mean, that was easy. Spray, spray, Clorox, wipe, 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 you know, that was easy. 
but uh, and I don't think it was on the counters anyway. Fairly certain it was just hanging around in the cupboards down there. But still, you know, we cleaned everything, and I'm in the process of doing the last bit of the cleaning. So that's what's going on today. So anyway, I think I started off saying the thing about my job being full time now. I don't know what's going on anymore. I gotta set my bread pans down. Um, yeah, so literally my only official day off now going forward will be Saturdays. And I intend to do absolutely nothing on Saturdays forever. Because that's literally my only day off. Because Tuesdays, technically, I don't have to go into work. But this candle thing well, takes all day. I mean, it's quarter after 11 right now. I still have one layer to pour on these things. Then I have to let them all of them cool completely before I can do the swirls or they look weird. Trust me. Uh, I've seen it. <laughs> uh, so that'll be like another couple of hours at least. And then I have to print all the packing slips and all the shipping labels and get all that situated and b build all the boxes and fill them all with peanuts and check all the orders and individually package everything and get them going. So I mean, by the time JJ gets home at like three, four o'clock, I'm, I'm like just finishing if I'm lucky. And then, you know, I have the post office pick them up the next day. Thank God for pickup service, right? Mm-hmm. It is wonderful. So I'm also, <laughs> because I don't feel like I'm doing enough, I'm also still working on my book. You guys remember, I don't know if you remember, or if you're new here or whatever, but I've been writing a book for like ever. And I just recently decided to change it because it wasn't, I don't know, I didn't feel like it was great the way it was. And, you know, tons of agent rejections. And I was like, well, like, what can I do with this? And I'd already started to write a sequel. So I was like more than halfway finished with the sequel. And I was like, I like this one better. I, I like the second one better. It flows better. The story's more interesting. I'm like, why don't I just make this the first book? So there was a lot of reorganizing involved with that, you know, because there was slight plot changes, foreshadowing changes, you know, character differences and things. So I kind of had to leave the beginning part the same because it set the scene you know, for the stuff. And then I had to like copy and paste the second book and put it here, but then like move certain things to, you know, away from the first one, but I kept it cause that's going to be the second book now. And it was kind of a process. And now I'm to the part where I have to continue writing because where I left off, I didn't, I didn't finish it. So I left off at a certain spot and now I'm continuing to write it. Uh, and I do that whenever JJ decides to play Borderlands. That's my cue to write because I don't have anything else to do, but that, you know, we're not hanging out. We're not watching a movie. We're not watching TV. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. He's occupied. It's my time to write. So it's my motivation to actually get through this. And I've been making really good progress. I'm very proud of it. So hopefully, hopefully I, it will be good enough that I can actually do something with it this time, maybe, but it's going to take a lot of revising, I think, just because it might still be a little rocky in places since it was kind of a cut and paste situation rather than like a, a continuity, continuous intended thing. I think I did an okay job already trying to make it flow because I definitely went back through the whole thing and just, just combed through it for like the stuff to make it work. But I still have to do work because it's, uh, it exceeds, it, it's already exceeding the word count, the preferred word count for, uh, the, the intended audience. I mean, JK Rowling got away with it, but whatever. So I do have to go into, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I probably don't need uh, because getting to this portion of the story is the, the meat of it where I'm doing right now. And I feel like it, there are parts that slow it down. You don't care. Why am I talking about it? I don't, I don't care. But anyway, so JJ has been a big help too, because he gives me feedback. Like he'll be playing Borderlands and I'll just be like, babe, I'm stuck. Can you get, give me an idea here? Like this is the situation. This is the idea I need. I've been thinking about it for an hour and I can't figure anything out. He'll like still be playing and just staring at the TV. And in like four seconds, he's like, Hmm, how about this? I'm just like, yeah, that's actually brilliant. And it works. Like he doesn't even stop playing a video game and just think the man is a genius. He's brilliant. And I love that he helps me with my ideas and stuff. And I've been telling him all about it as I write it. And he's like super invested in it. And he thinks it's really cool. So I think that's, he hasn't read it, but he knows the story anyway, just because of how much I've told him. So that's pretty cool. So I've yammered on far too long right now. And I need to get back to work because 
It's another reason I haven't vlogged lately, just because I've been so busy. I've been working so much, trying to keep up with candles. And um, so, yeah, basically with candle orders, I mean, I'm still going to do them. I, I still have every confidence that I can always get them done because um, I have all day Tuesday, you know, and it works. I, I, I made it happen. I can make it happen, and it's totally fine. Uh, the only drawback to that is that, you know, every Tuesday I make candles no other time because I have no other time to do it. I literally will not. So if you, for, I said this on Facebook, for example, if you placed a candle order on Tuesday night, candles are already done for the week. So it, unfortunately that order waits until the following Tuesday now to get done just because I literally won't have an iota of a scotch of a second to even get to it before then. So I apologize for that. But, you know, I can still do the candles at least. So at least I'm not like shutting down shop or, you know, anything like that. So unfortunately, it just means a little bit longer wait times if you order very close to after I've already done candles for the week. But for the most part, it, you know, it'll be okay. I'm still keeping up. So if you guys want to order candles, you know, go for it. I'm here. I'll do them. I like to, I still love doing them. If I didn't love doing them, I wouldn't, you know? So it, it's a very nice thing to do. I enjoy it very much and got to catch up on my three weeks of YouTube drama crap in the background, which is why I was talking about Church of Paytas at the beginning, because it was just literally 20 videos about Church of Paytas that I was listening to while I was doing this. And whew, so stupid. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you very much. Thank you guys very much for tuning in to this vlog, and I appreciate you very much. I do. And that's why I took a moment to record for you, even though I don't necessarily have the time. I made the time, because I love you, and I appreciate you, and you're so wonderful, and you deserve it. So I will see you guys next time, whenever that might be. Don't forget to watch out for the sheep. And today's vlog phrase is, Oh, I just can't wait for it to be fall. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're very close to fall. It's nice. I like it. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I don't know what that